Hello, and welcome to One Heart Heroes. This is Wade. And this is Cody. All right, ladies and gentlemen. On to the grass. <laughs> All right. Another so, well, surprise, level surprise. Oh, God, it's high leveled. I mean, it's... I'm not going to lie. My old strategy with Pokemon is I would capture... All the Pokemon I ran into until I had a full team, and then I would use that full team to battle through gyms mm -hmm. and just decimate <laughs> because God I had a full dang. team, and everyone else only had like one or two Pokemon. So like that's a big advantage. I like, and then I would just slowly change up Pokemon for the ones that I liked. That's why I like I literally I promise you almost I'm pretty sure I never whited out. Oh fucking I forgot Poohoo has insomnia. So, like, sleep doesn't work on him. That's awesome. Okay. Or Wody. Anyways. So, like, I... No, I lied. The battle tower. Ooh. That's gonna be spooky. I did white out in the battle tower. Um, I am going uh -oh. to... He just used foresight. Um, I personally, like, caught every unique Pokemon I ran across. Like, all of them. No, I know you did. Yeah. I just filled my team up, and then I caught the ones that I liked more. Come on, I don't want to have to share this PP. Really? Is that, is that going to happen? Like, you're not... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, um, guys. I'm trying to think here. I think I actually had a Ladybug until, like, the f final four. I forgot about Ladybug! <laughs> yeah, man. Turns into that fighting machine. I don't remember what the, the <laughs> fighting machine. It's like it's got like big gloves and it looks mean as shit. Yeah, I had a ladybug until like the final four, and I, I think I went through it with ladybug as well. Till the elite four. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the elite four. My bad. It's just like me playing the the backfield in baseball. <laughs> gotcha. I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave, and I'm gonna raise it and take it to Faulkner. Leader of Violet, Violet City Gym. What does he use? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Bug type? <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Is she a rival? No. Oh, you better not. Wade. You better not. Do you have two rivals in this? I don't think so. Versus recorder. Put the versus recorder on the key items pocket. Uh, I'll keep track of my battles. <coughs> Really? Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. That's friend. That's your friendly. Okay. You're good. I've never played as a All male right. or as a as a female. Like I haven't either. Oh, look at that guy. Talk to him. Well, He's probably the guy that tells first, you that. First things first. <laughs> but headband. First things first. All right, fine. There's some like. All right, hoot hoot. Ninja looking people around here. Get it, Wody. Boop. All right. Just because they have headbands. They may be like, enthusiasts. That guy looks like he's got a gi on the up top left. There he's got a nice suit. It's hard to tell with the We're big just, heads and the little bodies. I mean, like, it could just be stylistic choice. Now that guy looks like, I mean, come on, Wade. He's got green Let's spiky see. hair, a headband, and I'm pretty sure I hear Believe It echoing from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not blonde. I know it. I know what. I know what Naruto looks like. Trust me, everyone. Let's see, there we go. Naruto is blonde. This guy's got green hair. It's blonde. That looks green to me. It's because it's dark. Shard is a berry. Shard okay, berry. Right. Yeah, yeah, I trade berry for a shard. Bring me some shards and I'll give you three berries. Believe it! Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sounds like solid advice. By berries, he means cocaine. D by berries, he mean yeah. Those, those, those book tar heroin <laughs> <laughs> berries. Well, no, that's what he gives me. He needs shards. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're talking... You okay, want to I got that. We're talking Onyx. good stuff. What am I trading for Onyx? Anything? What does he want? Bruce Wayne? You can't you have my Bruce Wayne. don't want to game. trade. Aw. Collect Pokemon. Bell Bellsprout, okay. Oh. No, I don't have a bell sprout. <laughs> Get but wait, you can get Steelix in this game, which is I can't. bitching. I can't trade. Is that a thing for the Nuzlocke? You can't, no, you're not allowed to trade? I just don't have anybody to trade with. No, I'm just saying, like, if you get a Bell Sprout, go back and trade. But it has to have Metal Coat. You can get a Metal Coat later on. Cody, who am I going to trade Onyx with once it has the Metal Coat? 
Oh, right. You gotta evolve by fucking. <laughs> Pokemon ABB, the general. I forgot about here. that. Ready for prom time. Sure. Um, I'm coming. Wait. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the gym. This is the mart. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the one with the spinning sign way, not the big dojo sign. Just saying. Uh, bye. What do you need? Potions. Why do you need so many I, potions? I don't need tunnel mail. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Heal ball? A remedial nope. ball that restores the HP. That actually might be helpful for you. Meh. All right. Uh, they I, did have a crap ton of balls in this game. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not answering that phone. No? No. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Uh, potion. <laughs> I'm just in there like, this guy takes really good care of his Pokemon. Oh, God, they might die. <laughs> Do your Pokemon pass out? No, they don't. <laughs> they die. It's the rules. It's the rules. What? Don't you read the rules? <laughs> What? And your Pokemon, <laughs> and to you, your Pokemon just die when they faint. To Can everyone else, you, you walk over and like snap their necks when they faint. Buildings, caves, because it's the rules. Oh, where did we're the sort of getting this go? from um, the Nuzlocke comic, guys. Oh, Pidgey, he's so. That's actually where this whole thing originated from. Is it? Yeah, that's how this started. Was with that comic. Do you not know that? No. Yeah. No, um, the guy who, um... So, is it called Nuzlocke because the guy who made it's, like, that's name what, is Nuzlocke? That's what he named it, yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, that makes sense. Like, is that just his name? Like, the creator's name, Nuzlocke? I don't know. Huh. Like, I, I didn't do any in-depth research on it. Well, it said Nuzlocke Comics, and there's, like, three different comics. Ooh. And one of them is Pokemon Hard Mode. Yeah. And, like, just the rules is that, you know, your Pokemon dies and blah, 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 so on and so forth. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, oh, okay. I guess we'll have to research into it. Route 32. All right, new route. Let More, me write no, I'm, down. I'm going back to... I'm well, going I back to, to record route the town. fact that Route 32 exists, Wade. Oh, gotcha. Because we don't go in order. There's not Route 31 through 39, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Which annoys the what? shit out of me. What are you talking about? Bonjour, are you a trainer? Battle gym leader? Uh, when you did? No. What? Is that so? Study, show you, follow me. Oh, God. Do we have- why is he spinning so much? I don't know. Stop pirouetting. Jesus Christ, he's fast, though. Teach I'm good <laughs> study here. What? This is- this is a Pokemon, like, training place? Oh, God, no. Nope. Leave. Nope, I'm out. Leave. Later. No one I'm, wants to watch this. I'm not in for school. I'm down. I'm- I'm out. Grown-ass man, I pay my own bills. That's like, not, this not is not 12. a thing. Champ in the making, you must be here to challenge Faulkner Gym, right? right? Quite welcome, almost. The city has a tower called the Sprout Tower, where trainers come to train themselves. Challenge Faulkner may be too difficult. You haven't gone through their training. Oh, Jesus, do you have to go through their training? <sighs> Alright, everyone, uh, should we just cut through this? Let's, let's go, no, no, this is not Sprout Tower, it's school. We're going to Sprout Tower. <laughs> oh, okay. Sprout Tower's up here. Bam, Sprout Tower. Sprout Tower, yeah. Experience something. Experience the bell? It's a long fucking... I like, uh, I like the intro thing they give us. I don't, that is kind of nice. I don't remember that. The pillar shaking... People huh. are training upstairs. Really? Well, let's go train with them. Sure. Like, why does the pillar shake? Oh, well, I guess because it's like a bell. Like that's how a bell sprout does his thing. There, it's like skyscrapers when they actually sway, but you just don't realize it because it's so big. Yeah, but you can see this one move. That's worrisome. It's really tall. That's and really constructed. That's really bad. <laughs> Challenge really tall Sage and poorly Nico. constructed. Okay, Sage Nico sent out Bellsprout. Oh, who'd, who'd have thunk? Who'd have guessed? All right, Bruce Wayne. Now, if this goes like the anime did, mm, or the I cartoon ain't. did, then you're in trouble, Wade, because it knows judo. The, oh, <coughs> my God, I forgot about the judo Bellsprout. Right? <laughs> Terrifying. Bellsprout. Oh. Ah, Hajime. What? <laughs> Hajime. <laughs> Oh my god, that's what we should name a bell sprout when you get it. Hajime. Hajime. <laughs> uh, what y'all don't know is if if I remember correctly, oh, um, that pretty much means fight. 
Wow, that's iffy way. You don't want to lose your May. Uh, Mike, squirt, Wody, come on, Wody. Yeah, Wody got this. Wody's got it. Anyways, that means fight. Um, or go something of that, something of that sort, like go into action. Ooh, okay. But right. I know that because I did judo for a little while. I, I did. I competed like. That's not the only once, reason why. And I, we did a little training. Anyways. It's not the only reason, you know. Oh, that's because I'm also a, a dirty weeb. That's <laughs> right. Right. I can just somewhat verify better because it's a uh, Hajime to go and Mate to stop, like yeah, stop, hold, whatever. Cody's actually been in a competition. Like we have video proof of it. If anyone wants to see it, it didn't go too well. List below. <laughs> it didn't go well. You don't want to see that. I have one of you winning and one of you losing. Yeah, but the winning was a struggle, and it just looks like I fucking fell over on him. There was more to it than that, people. <laughs> there was like my ankle going behind his and tripping his ass. Sweaty I promise. grown men rubbing all over one another. Anyone who's interested in that action, hit me up. Oh, Jesus. Five dollars per watch. The other one's a big black guy just destroying me. Yes, he did. And it looks beautiful. Uh huh. Like you see how Cody caught air. Yeah, it was a hard fall. It was my fault too because I was way too aggressive. It but was the only like that was the one and only like he got all of his points from that one throw, right? Or did you have yeah, to do it twice? Yeah, like it's, um. So in judo, if it's a like on the flat of your back, then it's like a win. It's a whole point. Um. Oh god, the rules are a little blurry to me now. You don't even um, have your judo card anymore, do you? No, my my USJF card's expired now um and then like if you fall kind of on your side or on your lower back or something like that it's not a part it's not a perfect throw then um it's only like a partial point so then like they could judge by the end of the match how many partial points you get i don't think partials add up to whole points for a win but i could be wrong but there's also some things about intent and so on and so forth which is why like i think i got actually got a partial throw on that guy but I had good aggression on it from what, like, the judge's point of view. Um, because uh, I had, I, I got a leg sweep in there. That was something that I noticed, like, um, there's a non-combat clause in there, too. Like, if you're not, like, actively trying to, like, go at it, they, they'll call you on your bullshit and, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, right, you're fighting a grass type way. Oh, with grass moves, this is a bad idea. Um, all right, Wody, you're going to have to take that punishment, dude. Oh, God, wait. Are you going to lose a Pokemon so early? I don't think so. I think I'm good. I think I don't he's going to take that hit, though. I think it's okay. I don't think he's going to do 16 yet. Oh, he's just doing okay. Two. It's okay. <laughs> but, like, um... Yeah, no, if you don't fight, then they will, like... They'll be like, guys, get at it. Yep. Woo. And it's, it's a bad thing because, like... You get out of breath. You sit there and you're like adjusting your belt so you can have a little more time. And they're like, "Stop that!" <laughs> that's actually that's actually a thing. Like, um, if your belt touches the ground, then they have to tell you to fix it. Oh yeah, in case you slip or something like that. Yeah, because you can sense. injure yourself. They, the, your opponent can injure themselves. So a dirty judo strategy is like if you're getting tired, you untie your belt. Like, but you got to do it without the judge noticing. <laughs> so it's got me in the midst of things. So you like slightly loosen your belt so it falls down. And like the way that people lock into it, like it would be really hard for you to just kind of reach down and go whoop and like, oops, my belt came undone. Especially seeing you're supposed to like double knot that thing. Well, apparently from the stories from my teacher, like there are times whenever you and your opponent are like, oh God, uh, untie it. What? Untie my belt. Okay. <laughs> Like, y'all are both in there like, I need a break, you need a break, fucking let's do this. Damn. Um. Oh, God. Um. Your judo teacher was awesome. He was. Like, he was great. He was, like, 70 years old. I hope he's not dead yet. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> he hate. was old, man. He had some heart surgeries whenever I was there. Um. Never missed a practice. But he told some great stories, like. His, his house burned down and he didn't miss a practice. Yeah, man. <laughs> It all ended for the best, though. He like got to he got to moving with his daughter, who he'd been estranged from. It was it was good for him. I mean, he did bring his like twenty cats with him. Oh but, dear. Yeah, he used them as heating. 
<laughs> cat blanket, pretty much. Oh, God. <laughs> but, like, there's this move Dang. called Uchimata, where, um, I'm not gonna explain all the mechanics to it, because there's a lot. But pretty much, um, your leg goes into your opponent's inner thigh and uses that to kind of boost them. Um, you know, with along with a lot of other pulling, twisting, and motions, but that move is kind of dangerous because your inner thigh is really close to your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for that pr profound analysis, Cody. I just want to, I just want to emphasize this to all the men. So, pretty much, someone's leg is going whoop right there next to your balls. Mm. So, guess what? If someone has bad aim, it's going right into your testicles. I'm sure that probably came up during practice a couple times, right? They didn't let you practice Uchimata until later on because oh, of that. until you were more advanced. Yeah, well... That's, that's actually probably a solid call. My teacher was telling us about how he lost one match because uh, this guy's favorite move was apparently Uchimata, and he had bad aim. So he would go Damn. in for the move, and he would fail. He would go in for the move, he would fail. Go in for the move, he would fail, because he had bad technique. And our teacher was like, oh, oh, God. Okay, man, you know what? Okay, just one more, and I'm 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 going over with you. <laughs> He's like, you win. I'm going over. Just just be gentle. So the guy did his uchiman. And my teacher, teacher just like flipped over him. God He's like, I'm my. done. He got kicked in the testicles one too many times. Fucking, he should have just pulled out. Um. Oh no, I can't remember it now. What? I was so happy whenever I saw Ultraman do it, and I like fucking identified <laughs> it. Oh, Taotoshi. Taotoshi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's where you rotate them over your back leg. Yeah, that that one, that one seems dangerous because like there's a lot of fucking, there's a lot of torque and speed going into that, especially if you do it to someone on concrete for like um, self defense. Yeah, there's a lot of well, it's honestly more e easier to injure yourself as well because you're supposed to actually pop your leg at the last moment to uh, take their leg out from under them. Yeah. Ooh, damn. Anyways, I've kind of uh, rambled on about this, though. I mean, um, like, I, honestly, who doesn't like karate? It's judo. <laughs> Fucking get it right. The hell's wrong with you? Who doesn't like karate? It's what not I meant, karate. What I meant. They do have throws in karate. Don't get me wrong. They do. What I meant. What? Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Bell's Pride, you sneaky bitch. Uh, what I actually meant was um, martial arts. Who doesn't like mar martial arts? There you go. Like, I, I've learned that difference. I used to actually, like, help Cody practice and take falls and shit. And my God, you better learn how to fall. Otherwise, that shit hurts. Yes, it does. Ooh. We practice on ghetto mats, too. Like, we use the same mats as the, uh... Like, kindergartners sleep on. Pretty much. It hurt. I'm a fat guy, and it hurt. It's hard... It is harder to get back into judo when you've gained weight, people. Because guess what? When you're a stick, you go... <laughs> when you're, you know, mm, 50 to 100 pounds overweight, you break the floorboards. <laughs> Damn Just it. saying. All right, Bruce Wayne, here we go. Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne, Batman, bring your vengeance. Good lord. I may actually have to leave Bellsprout Tower, heal, and then come back. <laughs> you probably will do Yeah, uh, like, get, this is a real thing. Not lose a Pokemon. Yeah, because, especially seeing as I have Totodile. Um, and, like, the, 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 the leaf is real, man. The leaf is right? real. Right? Cyndaquil would have been, uh, golden Fucking for this first leaf. Beautiful league. here, yeah. <coughs> Now, have you noticed something about everyone who's in this building? They're all bald? Yes. You think that's because of Bellsprout? Or maybe because they're monks. Well, I don't think... Is it required to be bald to be a monk? I don't know. Yes. Huh. Krillin was bald. He was a monk. Whoa. Was, was Krillin a monk? Yeah, he left. Because he was a bitch monk. I didn't know like that. He left to train with Master Roshi because he was a wuss. Wow. Yeah, right. You never watched Dragon Ball. No, I, I like. We saw up to where Bulma flashes uh, Master Roshi, and I think that was where we stopped. Yeah, we were getting close to the Krillin part, I believe. Wow, didn't know that. Or close ish, close esque. I think he became Earth's strongest human. Uh, I 
actually, you know what? I don't think he could take Master Roshi in a fight, to be honest. Krillin? Fuck you, Sage Chow. Yeah, at this point in time, he could. Yeah? Yeah, Master Roshi's old, man. All right. Um, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, Heroes, if you want to be civilians, all you got to do is click the watermark in the bottom right-hand corner or the big heart on the end slate. Leave a comment, guys. Pokemon names. And um, have you ever done any martial arts? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say, we love martial arts. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big, dirty weeb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be a weeb to love martial arts. True. You, you make a very valid argument. Junkie. Very true. Um, got anything else, Wade? Nope. Later, heroes. All right. Fill the beat, everyone. Flame. All right. We're out of dark cave now. Yeah, is that is that you just came in here? Yeah. Zubat. Came in here to get a Pokemon. That's it. <laughs>